Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Richie from Boston. It's the 1st of June. It's the year 2020, and I'm not waiting for Days of Noah. I It is on right now. I just watched the president, Donald Trump, and that's not my thing. I don't watch the president. I can't stand watching mainstream news. I can't stand watching Donald J. Trump, the Zionist shill, Israel-loving, orange-haired, orange-faced freak. But I had to because this Israel first, orange hair, Zionist shill, complicit New World Order scumbag billionaire elitist just told everybody that this entire fabricated riot that was all started by a staged event I don't want to get into the semantics. It doesn't matter. The mainstream showed us a police officer, law enforcement, killing a black man. They let every single YouTuber, every single Facebooker, every single solitary person in the world. Yeah. You know what, dude? Okay. I don't know. I was just saying something, but this person apparently who is new needs to go be careful richie Rich, israel is like dude goodbye all right get a grip go go to go to some other youtube channel don't come here this dude just literally used the hand signal that he loves so very much and told us that the military and heavily armed soldiers will be on the street to restore order because of this in giant giant false flag part two of the 2020 COVID lie. So it's bad enough that they got everybody to go sit in their house like a bunch of children. It's bad enough that they completely destroyed the economy. It's bad enough that they have demoralized and terrified 95% of the American citizenry. But now they pulled this, and this gives them a reason to put the military on the ground in every single solitary state. See, the problem is, is I've been out today and yesterday and the day before, and I'm not seeing any of this stuff except on the news. Do you see what I'm saying? So this is just, to me, this is just like COVID all over again. Oh, everyone's dying. Everything's, and yet when you don't watch the television, you don't see any of this. I'm not saying people aren't rioting, but I will tell you this. I've seen enough people like the guy, you know, the the umbrella guy that I showed you. Well, that a lot of people showed you, but the umbrella guy with the black suit on, the 3M gas mask, the black umbrella, walking along, just smashing windows. That is a psychological operations soldier or officer, one of the two. So these guys have basically set it off and they got their quid pro quo. They got their order out of chaos they are going to bring in the military in every single solitary state and once they get here they won't be leaving do you see what i'm saying this is them rolling it in so for everyone that's saying we need to build communes yeah listen that was we've had six months of people sitting around debating talking questioning this asking that blah 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 decoding doing all this other stuff this is it. This is them doing it. And this is how they're going to bring the military in right under your noses. And no one's even going to notice it for what it is until it's way past too late. Do you see what I'm saying? Every single time I looked at some sort of riot involved information on Facebook, I mean, not Facebook, well, actually off of Facebook because people sent them to me and Twitter. I was seeing New York police cars running over so, uh, people, New York police beating people already on the ground. Um, it's just absolutely crazy that this is the setup and people still don't get this for what this is. You know what I'm saying? I already see it in the chat. Antifa, anti, do you know? It's sad. It's totally, completely sad watching all of this occur and people are still arguing in debating the minutiae of things like we're talking about planes or no planes. They're rolling in martial law right now. They're taking away the country. That's what this entire COVID exercise was about. Nobody 
everybody locked in and did exactly as they were told during the COVID pandemic. Nobody sat back over those two, three months that they were locked in their house and actually looked up information on their own and discovered, like I did, hey, none of this is even possible. Hey, all the numbers that they're showing us, all these countries with tens of thousands of people in hospitals are overflowing and the frontline workers and social dis none of that was real. People should have got pissed off and stood up for themselves because they're taking away America. Everything that made America special and or great, they stripped away during COVID and they expected people to finally figure it out. But sadly, through genetically modified food, through fluoride, through medication, through social engineering, and through the weapon that I've been warning you about for 10 years, the television, they have mind-fucked people to the point where people can't even figure out what's happening while it's happening, even when people are telling them. Do you see what I'm saying? So they just create a riot. They create an event that will cause a riot. And in this day and age, with the private militaries, you know, like Blackwater and other militaries, because I don't even know the names. They're so varied and they change so often. But places like Monsanto own their own private military. We've told you about that. And people don't care. With all the private contractors, you have no idea who you're watching marching down the street and rioting right now. You have no idea how many of the people that you're seeing right in this clip right here from Minneapolis who are soldiers? Who are officers? Who are government agents? Do you see what I'm saying? But fortunately, the Surgeon General and Dr. Fauci recommended everyone wear masks. Well, it's very fortuitous because if you're going to riot, you're going to need a mask anyways. Fortunately, everyone's masked. That kind of freaks me out right there. We are in some crazy times right now, and it's, it is... I don't care if Trump's a false prophet. It's irrelevant. Let's deal with what's in front of us instead of dealing what's 10 steps down the road because we're not even dealing, we're not even good at dealing with this as it comes now. Do you see what I'm saying? Trump just, just this minute, and I bet you it was at 636, Trump just this minute told every governor of every state, either get the military deployed, get the National Guard deployed, or I will deploy the military. He's already told D.C. that they've got a special um, curfew that starts at 7 o'clock. And, I mean, we still got cities around here that are under curfews. This guy's a freak. And did somebody change the color of his hair? And look at the way he talks. It just freaks me out completely that people are watching an enormous Freemasonic transformation ritual happening to the United States right now. And when, when you're... When they're pulling an enormous Masonic ritual on the entire country, which is what COVID is, they took away everything. You're not allowed to be an American. You have to, if you're going to go outside, you have to dress a certain way. If you're going to go to a store, you got to wait in line. You can only do this. You have to walk a certain way. You can't stand near people. That's called you being the, the apprentice in Freemasonic terminology. And then magically, the president that we have is famous for what? Well, he's famous for telling people, you're fired, you're fired, you're fired on his television show called The Apprentice. How strange is that? It's right there in your face. I, I mirrored a video the other day talking about this exact same thing, and he still didn't tie the fact that Trump and The Apprentice ritual, Trump's television show was The Apprentice. We have a billionaire elitist that I'm guessing – Almost half the country believes this guy's words. The other half aren't going to do shit, which just leaves us. And I'm running out of ideas here because everything I've been saying since this started is coming to fruition. The timetable got a little screwed up because I'll guarantee you they did not think that America would run in the house like a bunch of children from a scary story saying, you better get inside or you're going to catch a cold. Everybody's dying even though any grown, critical thinking human could look around and say, wow, nobody's dying. And after all this time, I don't even know anybody that's died. I think I've gotten four emails since this entire COVID thing broke where people said, 
I have a family member that was actually diagnosed as COVID when in fact they died of a heart attack. They died of leukemia. They died of whatever else. This entire thing was a lie and America failed the test miserably. Let's not even forget the fact that when this first jumped off, remember when oil went negative? So remember for a point in time in America in 2020, you could have bought a tanker full of oil and the guy that owned that probably would have gave you $100,000 because oil was negative, negative. That's like going to the store, buying a gallon of milk, and they give you a gallon of milk and five bucks. Do you see what I'm saying? At that point in time, if you watched all the stock market dudes that are kind of halfway awake, like Greg Manorino, Greg, Greg, whatever his name is, who cares? The Federal Reserve, the elites, all swept in and bought everything. So they basically own everything. They nationalized everything. <sighs> We're in some tough, tough times. And this dude just told everybody, uh, excuse me, he just told every governor, either put troops on the street or I'll send in the army. That ain't good. That is not good whatsoever. So that means places like where I'm at where nobody's rioting because we've seen this kind of shit since I was a little kid. It's no big deal. There's going to be military absolutely everywhere. And once they're on the, this is their reason to put troops on the ground. Once troops on the ground, they're going to have problems. There's going to be outside agitators. And as you heard, or if you didn't, in Trump's little speech right here, he just called certain elements domestic terrorists. Do you remember the video I put up where the FBI listed people like myself as domestic terrorists? A born in the USA veteran that happens to show you the alternative to the lies the mainstream media owned by people like the president and all his pals can be labeled a domestic terrorist. Trump just used that terminology in his little speech. So here it comes. Everything's coming to fruition. They're not going to take their foot off the necks of Americans because they already know people can be scared with a scary story. What's up, homie? I couldn't wait for you. No worries, man. Totally understand. How you doing? Did you just see that? Donald Trump telling all the governors of all 50 states, either bring in the National Guard or I'm sending in the U.S. military to quell these riots. Wow. No. no. There it is. He just He just went on for about 20 minutes. Oh, man. There's only one law. I love this country. Blah, blah. He just said either every governor of every state in the United States brings in the National Guard or I'm bringing in the U.S. military. There it is. They you couldn't know, get us to fight, so they created their own little event. They let it spread. You watched, you watched the cops in Minneapolis. They literally abandoned the police station so that it could be burned down. Um, problem, reaction, solution. Go ahead. Wow. You know what's, what's really trippy about all this is you pretty much called this from the outset. And, you know, what's interesting about this, this area of research is we never really know exactly how things work, but we pick up the pieces and we kind of follow leads. And you were on top of the whole military thing from, from the very beginning. And What's interesting is this whole thing has seemed to pan out in a way that describes exactly what you were pretty much saying was this is all about, you know, bringing down this type of uh, military hammer. And it seems to be the case that that's what's going on right now. And surprisingly, it's not even the COVID thing. It's this stage two kind of second op, you know, with this, this whole, um, George Floyd situation, this protest situation. It's it's just, it's so clever and they snuck it under our nose and everyone's bit the bait. And now look, I, I, uh, I had no idea this, man, crazy. But, no, no, you're, you're on it. You're on it. Listen, I don't know if you, I don't know if you heard what I was saying right before you jumped in, but they did not, there is no way in the world, even with the best AI, 
even with the best computer modelings running since 1997, to see what we would do with a pandemic because it's never happened before. We've never had the World Health Organization come out and say, this is a worldwide pandemic. No one's paying enough attention. Everyone's going to die. Even doctors were going on the mainstream saying, we've never heard the director of the World Health Organization say something like that. They had no way of knowing how we were going to react, but they expected at least a tenth or a third of people to stand up and say, screw you. I'm not going, I'm not stopping my entire life, locking myself in the house because you said so, but they did. They needed, they were hope. they were assuming that was going to give them the fight to get rid of the people with the big mouths like us. And it didn't, you know what I mean? Oh, that's, it's so deep when you think about that. It's, it's true. Yeah. It's such a mind game. It's, this is really, really interesting. Someone had mentioned in one of my uh, recent chats, they, someone said, or might have been a comment section, but someone had mentioned this and it really blew my mind. They were like, yeah, everyone just sat down in their homes nice and quiet when you took all of our jobs from us. When you totally took our livelihoods away, we just sat down and let it happen. But when a black man is allegedly killed by a cop, we all want to run into the streets and burn the society down in anger. I mean, how does any of this make sense? Well, <laughs> they know from experience that if you go into urban communities that they've spent decades and decades and decades crafting. You know what I mean? Neighborhoods with absolutely no job opportunities, but plenty of gun shops, liquor stores, et cetera, and a constant central intelligence agency hookup to crack cocaine, Pablo's best heroin, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. They know that if they kill somebody, people will start freaking out and it makes great television and that's all they need. And then in this day and age, they can implement any number of psychological soldiers, uh, military psyops, which they do. We watch the guy with the emerald. Dude, that was a military operator. The guy's got a black uniform on. If you didn't walk up and look through his 3M professional respirator to see that he was actually a white man, the guy carrying the black umbrella, you'd never know. But that was so that he couldn't be spotted from the sky with a drone, etc. I understand the esoteric relevance of an umbrella, but that was a part of his disguise. Do you know how many operators are in there breaking shit, knocking things over? Do you know how hard it is to burn the Minneapolis police station to the ground like that? I mean, you had to get inside the building and set that off. Yes. yes. Come on, man. And the cops just come. All the cops are standing down and abandoning post to allow this to happen, to make themselves look completely helpless. Like, we need the military. It's, it's so obvious. We've seen it before. But apparently... America hasn't seen it at this scale or reported at this scale before. And now Trump is going to fix it all with one what with one rule of law, one beautiful law. He just called it in a live stream that was just over three minutes ago. And the military is coming in to straighten everything out. Wow. And it's like, so could this have been so basically all of those trucks coming in that you were exposing that whole time? That whole time they were preparing for this. That it didn't come. It, well, it, they were preparing for this. I think. I. I mean, this. This is just conjecture. Now that's all we can do. Yeah. I yeah. Think, we really. I think they thought some people are going to be like, "You can't tell me to stay home and not feed my family. You can't tell me not to go to work. You can't shut down my business. You can't tell me not to go to the store." I but see. they didn't, and they okay. did. Okay, now I get it. Okay, so th they 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 had set that up, right? They expected everybody to lose it just from that, right? And taking and a job and forcing them to stay in, and they didn't. So they had to come with a like like an option, right? They called an option, and, and basically, or an, or an audible, sorry, and and they had to switch. They had to switch the plays up, and they went to the old playbook. You know, this was a new playbook. This pandemic thing, right? This was new. So maybe people stayed inside and kind of, you know, turned into curves and put their tails between their legs because this is a new experience. You know, disease is kind of scary. Viruses. It's, the whole very, idea. it's very scary. It's I, very I, scary. I, so possibly that's what really deterred people from, you know, getting up and standing up and doing something. Uh, OK, maybe that's maybe that's what it was, a new kind of thing. So what do they do? They go to the old playbook. They go to that old playbook, the race card. 
they never fail with that. They've been doing it since day one. You know, the whole Rodney King thing, the OJ Simpson thing. They've always pulled this, you know, uh, so it makes perfect sense why they that why they pulled that card. And it worked because you got people in the streets and burning, burning down parts of cities. And um, it's just been a perfect plan. And now they got what they want. They got exactly what they want. But you're right about this isn't happening everywhere. And it's being exaggerated. I agree with that. It is happening in certain cities, mainly highly metropolitan areas that are super diverse. You're seeing this, you know, California, New York. You know, parts of Texas, I think, uh, parts of Florida, parts of the South where it's high black communities. You're seeing this in certain areas, of course. I mean, it's granted. But in general, we're not really seeing a whole lot of evidence of this thing being ubiquitous or uniform throughout the throughout the United States. So they, of course, they have to pump it up and they have to make it look a lot more extreme than it is, especially with all this new evidence of people trying to go to the to the White House and all of this stuff, you know. That's just going to give them the perfect opportunity opportunity to drop the hammer, you know. Oh, that's that's just what he said. That he's got, and he stressed it very heavily. Armed soldiers in the nation's capital, as well as a seven p.m. curfew, and and then he's and and, and the, you you got to watch it afterwards. I cannot stand watching president. I can't watch. I can't watch any of these people talk because it just makes me want to vomit. But I had to watch this and the way he's talking, this beautiful, lovely, delicious country. It sounds like he's talking about his daughter, as creepy as that is. But he's like this wonderful country with our beautiful laws and this, that, and the other thing. And he kept stressing one rule of law. One all I can all I could think of was Noah Hyde laws. Noah Hyde laws. Noah Hyde laws. Because he's one of the first presidential type actors that I documented in video several years ago, signing the Noahide laws. You know what I mean? These uh -huh. people, dude, we're screwed because people aren't seeing it. People are buying the bullshit. They're still thinking there's some secret plan to arrest pedophiles, which just blows me away. I mean, what do you think they're waiting on here? And then meanwhile, Netflix is running. Netflix is good, man. Netflix must be owned directly by Soros because they're running Filthy Rich, the the Epstein story, just more to piss people off, and they just ran Waco, which would in the in the little mini series Waco, they made the police look completely like the aggressors because they want to get in the people's heads. You need to go after the man. You need to go after the man. The man's getting over on you. They're basically backing up every video we've ever made over the years on netflix for the regular people to see and i still don't think it's working dude <laughs> you know what i mean exactly it's not it's still not enough bait, brother yes. they're buying the bait yes yes and we're, we're definitely in trouble on a grand scale um we are seeing a massive operation this is global man this is no joke people think this is some stupid race thing oh no it, no it's no, so no much deeper man oh man would you all right in Europe? We've both done videos on the second wave. Would you say this is the second wave? Because I haven't really heard coronavirus lately. Well, I actually just sourced some articles today, and it seems like what they're trying to do is bring back the idea of coronavirus because apparently everyone's forgot about it. So they're they're trying to well, at least what I'm reading is. They're putting it out there that, hey, you know what? We need to be concerned because all of these riots and all of these protests could produce a second wave or could possibly produce another outbreak. Maybe and they're like, basically, with all these protests, we can see an even more severe outbreak of a second wave. So that kind of that made me think, well, maybe this is how they're going to bring back Corona. This is how they're going to bring that second wave through the protests. Oh, possibly. Possibly. well, it's true. True. I'm just basing that off of some of the articles. I try to read some of their, their rhetoric, you know what I mean? Some of their kind of like the subtext there. And uh, that's that could be a possibility. But then again, this could be the second wave. You know, it's it's really hard to say or they could both be a combination of the second wave. It, it, you know, it's hard to really call. I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. No matter what it is, it's bad. It's mm -hmm. bad. And it all plays to them. Yes. All of the, Donald Trump had to be. Did you know this? Donald Trump had to be rushed to the emergency bunker yesterday because of, dude, get out of here. In a real world, there's no, uh, president, listen, 
Here, jump in this real quick. We got protesters freaking out outside. We got to get you up and away. No, 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 no. In 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 the mainstream news reality, Donald Trump was cowering downstairs because the protesters were so vicious. It's ridiculous. Have dude. you seen these protesters? I they're have. Like, I see like sixteen year olds. I see kids holding up cell phones, running down the streets. I don't see what I always imagined. I would see was really angry veterans doing what they know how to do. Do you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah, and, yeah. and Standing up for their oaths, et cetera. Oaths, you t I was just explaining to somebody today who I've known a long time. I said, I did, my dad did, pretty much every male that I know and se several females, we took an oath. And most people don't even know the Constitution. And most people don't even know what their own oath meant, sadly. Protect this country against enemies, foreign and domestic domestic was in there for a long 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 time yeah yeah dude uh, planet nine i don't know who you are but yes I, I i've i've heard they're burning down cities I, a I've lot heard. of stuff is getting burned up i mean don't get it twisted no, no, no definitely no. some there there is some drama going down oh no no, no no doubt i am totally yeah. hip but 50 the president of the united states coming on the news and saying to the governors Either you put the National Guard in every city in your state or I'll send in the military. <clears throat> and people are still, I'm still seeing in the comments, but what about posse comments? Dude, there is no laws. We have the lawless one in here right now. You know what I mean? When we were making yeah. videos talking about how for a long time the presidential seal was gone. And then when, when one of those videos finally started going viral, the next day it popped back up. Yeah, this it's this this is this is the new world order. These are yeah. the birth pangs we're watching. It's the beginning of the end. I mean, people could argue that it's been on a downward spiral for a long time. The end began a long time ago. That's you can make that argument, but this is truly the beginning of of the end of the United States of America. This is truly that that real door, you know, the doorway, the, the gate. It's opening. And uh the 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 flood is coming. You know, it's it's time. You know, we're we're going to see some drastic changes over over I'd say the next few months, and uh, 2021 is going to make 2020 look like a newborn baby. You know what I mean? It's it's, I it's, it's I gonna do. get hairy, man. Let me ask before I forget because I have the attention span of a of a hummingbird. Did 2020 just start like 20 minutes ago, and then suddenly we're already halfway through it? <laughs> is that freaking you out? Are you experiencing this as well? Because I'm noticing this with every like, dude, it was just January, like seven minutes ago. And now it's June and it's still the same temperature, but I literally had that conversation today. I literally had that conversation. I was like, is the year already halfway over? It's, a it's, trip, been, it's been the blink of an eye and the, the year is already halfway gone. It's just, Oh man, I know he's shortening time and everything. I, I understand the, sh the biblical uh, aspect of it, but man, do you think that's happening Ooh. already? It feels Honestly, like it. Just, you know, we're, just, feel we're just kicking it here. You know yeah, what I mean? But I, I I hate to ever make you know uh, concrete statements when it comes to things like that, but it definitely feels like it, man. You know, I feel like we have so much more to go. There's so much more that needs to happen. You know what I mean? As far as like revelations is concerned, there's so much we haven't even began, began to see yet, but yeah, man, it's, uh, this is check out this comment, dude. I love, I love, I love the awoke folk. Trump isn't behind this. It's the elites. <laughs> All right. I'll jump in. I'm going to, I'm going to jump in on this real quick. <sighs> Donald Trump, in his lifetime, has been a billionaire not once but twice. Do you know how to how hard it is and what you need to do to other humans to become a millionaire, let alone a billionaire, let alone twice? And the second time, he was straight up and down, bailed out by Israeli banker interests. Anything, days? You know, you can pass. It's your call. No, it's true. Trump isn't behind this. In fact, Trump isn't behind anything. <laughs> Trump's an actor. He's playing a role. He's playing a position. This is all a game and he's merely a player. And I'm not even going to go as far as saying he's aware of this. He could be totally being used. They could just be, you know, he could be playing right into it. Who who knows the, the details? But, 
he has nothing to do with anything. He's just a player. The role of the president is he's, he's not even a good actor because watching his watching his, I mean, when you're finally not only has he done things that have never happened before, he literally like you do not want to be the president if it's really your job and you really want to keep it. You don't want to be the first president of the United States to declare the entire country a disaster area for the first time in the country's history ever. Donald Trump, yep, did that. He just went live. He was like 40 minutes late to his own live stream, which it happens. He just went live and did the worst acting in the world where he basically told every governor, either bring in troops or I'll send my own in. And he did it like he was, I can't even explain, like he was rolling on ecstasy. It was <laughs> the creepiest thing. And he did, he colored his hair or something, man. But I got a funny feeling. I already told you about this and I hope you do something with it because I can't tie it together. But I, I mirrored that video talking about The Apprentice. The America is going through, COVID was a free Masonic ritual to basically break you from being an American. Yes. Remember before COVID, you could go to the store, you could do what you want, you could order on Amazon. Well, all that came to a, a halt. You got to go to the store when they tell you, you can only buy what you're allowed. This isn't essential. This is not essential. It's called being the apprentice. And then I forgot that Trump was famous for You're Fired. The name of the show was The Apprentice. Yes. I mean, come on, man. That's so see through. It's crazy. Just a girl. I don't know, man. Yeah, it's a great question. What do we do? You know, and I guess at the end of the day, <clears throat> that's a very hard question to to answer. And I think as far as the collective goes, it's out it's out the window, man. There's it's out the window. They're gonna do whatever man tells them, bro. It's a done deal. So it has to, it has to come down to to uh, in the individual. You know, you have to make sure your your uh, your house is in order. You know what I mean get right with God, get your, uh, your resources together. You know, uh, Richie, your, your out, uh, what is it? Um, Overlander, man, you, you have so much valuable information in there. People need to be heeding to these, these videos you're putting out and listen, really uh, get it together, man, because it's survival mode. That's what Dave, it's about now. I don't know if you watched my other YouTube channel, jailbreak Overlander before, yeah, that's exactly what I'm before this all blew up. Hmm. But this no, is not before, not before. Word to word to hand to God. Before COVID, before all of this, I was out there in October, November, December, in the rain, in the snow, making videos on how to start a fire outside, how to live outside if it's freezing. I and it, I used to do that back when I first started my channel, but I stopped for a long time. I had this sudden urge to start making bug out videos. And the last video I really wanted to make, but I couldn't figure out how to do it was when do you bug out? When, like, when do you know it's time? And I ran out of time because COVID-19 ripped mm. the nation. Dude, I don't know what you call that, but I mean, how timely was that? You know what I'm saying? Like all of a sudden I got to start making videos and then the shit does hit the fan and 99 out of 100 people don't even notice it or yeah. want to argue about it. That's it. Check this out. Have you noticed this other thing? People are so used to just kicking videos, doing live streams, going on Reddit, going on Twitter and arguing about, dude, there was no airplanes at 9-11. There were no people in the buildings. That was all directed energy. That was done by UFOs. There were, those planes were remote control. Those planes were empty. This ain't the time for that anymore because this no. This, they're doing this. They're just doing it the most effective way so they don't look like the bad guys. And it's working. They just yeah. got the military. The president just went on TV 20 minutes ago and told the governors either put troops on the ground or I'm going to do it. So there's that. Once the troops are there, it's on. It yeah. is absolutely on because now they'll send in agitators to start clashing with the with the soldiers and then there it is it's straight up martial law because they have to protect themselves and it's a done deal it's yeah, a, done deal. a done deal done deal it really seems like that is what is next is this hardcore martial law rollout man because at this point you're already seeing national guard going through communities uh hitting people with uh rubber bullets i mean that's real dude, dude that's dude. crazy I would lose my entire mind. The way they said that, light them up. Because 
and I talked to one of my neighbors, and I thought he was halfway awake. Sorry if you're listening, Mark, but it is what it is. He said, hey, when the National Guard tells you to go inside your house, you do it. And I'm like, yeah, I don't see it that way. If I'm standing in my door at my house in America and a bunch of jerk-offs come marching down the street, I'm clearly not an issue. You know what I'm saying? But you're going to light me up anyways because I didn't listen to your words. The fact that they're on the ground is illegal. Just because they're ignoring posse commas, the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, and every other thing because of a bunch of people that aren't in the suburbs, that's not my problem, man. You know what I, I mean? That. Dude, yeah. they, they got people to think of the troops as sports teams. Support the troops. Support the troops. Support the troops. I told people when people were – go Iraq. When we killed a million people and Americans cheered for it and didn't understand the gravity of that, that was all a flagrant, blatant, easily proven lie that was going to come home to roost. And now it is, man. So what do we do in that kind of situation? Because that's maybe an area I'm not uh, too versed in, especially dealing with military things. Uh, I agree with what you're saying, but what do we do? You know, like... I it's kind of going to a, a, a gunfight with a, with a butter knife, you know? It's like, what what do we do in that situation? Are we Do we just lay down our lives, or I mean? Well, I can't tell anybody to do that, but I'll tell you what. The reason the troops are here is because they're going to get you in line to do whatever it is they say, and they've already shown us that particular hand is you're going to get a biometric tracking contact tracing thing. I ain't doing that. I am not doing that. So there is only one alternative for me and I'm good with that. And I am not bullshitting. If you've ever oh, met yeah. me or you know me, I ain't doing that. Definitely when it comes to that. It, for have sure. you seen them already equate? Oh, well, we had, uh, you know, they keep saying there's these Antifa and these professional troublemakers. And it's like, you guys just say it. We've got soldiers pretending to be rioters and we're going to use those against you guys. We're going to use contact tracing on them too. They've already flipped it over. So it isn't, it's not just for COVID anymore. Yes. They've already said we're going to use contact tracing for rioters. Yes. I had a clip so today. It's the all purpose, it's the all, purpose all seeing, yes. all knowing yes. contact tracing. Yes. I, I had a clip I showed earlier today on a stream about that. And it's true, man. It's so amazing. And it makes perfect sense that they had all this planned out. It's just too it's just too well put together. I mean, come on, are you kidding me? Now you're gonna use contact tracing to 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 look for uh potential or supposed uh white supremacists and, and rioters. I, it's just crazy. It's crazy. But I love the terminology too. The white dude, I've been all over the country, I don't even know how many times, and I've met my subscribers, and a lot of my subscribers are kooky, wacky way out there a lot of them but they're cool and they get it for the most part but nobody's a, a white supremacist and nobody's like them damn crackers and it ain't like that the no, only time you no. see that is on the news man it's crazy you know it the term is it's a straw man it's it's a type of red herring you know it's a boogeyman you know it's a it's a specter it's something that was created out of the civil rights movement mainly out of the black power movement in the late 60s early 70s it's something that's been uh recycled over and over through these most of the time they're these charlatan um kind of race hustler type individuals who make careers out of uh, black liberation uh people like umar johnson and these types of individuals that are you know just fraudulent they're just con artists they're scam they're scammers but what they do is they create these movements and they they utilize this kind of you know this supposed oppression and they create this bad guy you know white supremacy and it it just gives them the perfect opportunity to mobilize groups of people um for 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 you know uh i guess out of anger they appeal to anger they appear to they appeal to emotion and it's not an actual real thing of course there's inequality in society we live in a capitalistic society there's going to be hierarchies there's going to be haves and have nots i mean if you know a little bit about history you see how things worked out i mean if a country starts off with some element of slavery and some element of uh, disconnect and and hierarchical you know even master slave um uh, relationships of course there's going to be some segregation there's there's going to be a group that might be behind the other especially if one was a slave and the other was a master at one point it's just how populations and societies develop not to say that it's it's okay and it's right but 
slavery and and war and all of these things have existed throughout history generation to generation it's a part of humanity it's it's a staple of mankind to enslave and to kill and to pillage and to conquer so it's like we just happen to live in a certain point in time where we've experienced it and this is how our our uh a country has developed and there's been some residual inequality based on that and that's expected it's not that things are the same as they were then you know of course there's going to still be differences between people but it's not like we're living in the 60s it's not like we're living in in the 20s or something this is two the two 2020 okay most people have smartphone technologies in their pockets and and or and can afford you know expensive tennis shoes and and actually live pretty decent lives you know and are able to to make it in the world to a degree in a way they couldn't before so it's it's just this whole it's a misrepresentation of what we're experiencing there is no real racism in that sense um that is argued you know when the whole white supremacy thing is used and it's kind of like the whole nazi argument that the left uses you know calling people that they don't agree with nazis you know anyone that disagrees with me is a nazi anyone that doesn't follow my worldview and support you know my organization is a white supremacist it's, it's just a red herring man at the end of the day the thing that gets me the most about all this is and this isn't very bad but do you see this comment right here? What are you going to talk about when none of this happens? I don't know what the fuck you're saying when none of this. Ha I'm simply telling you what's happening now and how it just progressed exponentially. And I apologize for swearing. But again, I am the worst Christian ever. But I am still more than aware that Christ came here, tried to do what a lot of people tried to do, and they killed him in the most horrific, brutal possible way and all we have to do is believe that that happened and we're good to go but once in a while i do say for unlawful carnal knowledge when i see a stoop what are you going to talk about when this do you see the truck above your comment yeah that's uh los angeles today but i digress it's, it's already big, happening <laughs> no that's what i'm saying it's already happened and it's been happening the whole COVID thing Look people at this. hiding <laughs> so there's a marching down the street with masks on because of an invisible bug but that'll go away soon or whatever you know what i mean but remember the time they told us it was this monster pandemic and then all the information poured out that basically proved it was a complete and total lie even though several of us guessed this was going to happen based on that invisible tattoo and the weird thing is, is before any of this even broke, we're talking about it going, the only reason they would make something like this is for a pandemic. And then we start waxing on things like, and I guarantee they're going to try to get rid of money because everyone touches money, germs spread through money, blah, blah, blah. And then that exact thing that sparked the entire conversation before the event occurred is the solution. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's pretty... Ugh. Uh, yeah, I know it's frustrating. Some people are like this isn't real. I mean, how do I don't maybe is that a is that some in your opinion? You think that's some sort of a coping mechanism? Like this isn't real. This will all just I'll turn the television off, and this will all go away. Oh, that's as that's exactly what it is, Rich. You see, I have a lot of this. I have the same issue with a lot of uh, friends of mine. You know, they don't. They just can't face reality and it's not and it's they're not even willing to consider possibilities of things that shatter their worldview or shatter their their reality you know people love the world they love the way things are most most of the time um you know they're they're fear they're fearful types of people and <clears throat> you know uh their their emotions and their security is very connected to the to the suck the success of the society right so to even consider society changing in a way that would take that away is frightening and that's hard for people to accept or even think about especially those who are kind of maybe neurotic or frightful people to begin with right so they try to avoid those things and a defense mechanism to that is denial you know a defense mechanism to that is you know completely denying it or or poo-pooing it or making fun you know all these all these different sarcastic ways that they they would reply to some of these types of things and it's totally understandable i deal with it all of the time you know people just don't want to look at a world that doesn't fit the specific shape that they have in their own mind and meanwhile don't worry because nasa is back in outer space they launched the dragon and all is well Ha, 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 ha.
It's just so ridiculous, man. It does all of this at once, everything at once, all of this stuff happening simultaneously. It's it's just crazy. It's and it's amazing to me how people, for the most part, because I've been really, really paying attention because I'd be remiss not to. People on the streets, people at the stores, they're holding down this, like they're not going, you know what, screw this. I'm not wearing this. Stu-. No, they're they're good with it. They're standing in line outside at Walmarts, like a bunch of jerk offs. They're wearing their face masks. They're driving around wearing their face masks alone in their car. They're walking on the beach wearing their face masks, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It is totally trippy, dude. It's like this nudging, this incremental change. And they're just getting us to adjust month by month, a little more and a little more to the point where we lose all conviction. We lose all faith. You know, we just lose all semblance of individualism and sovereignty. And we literally become little robots, these little objects that are just waiting to be told what to do. And that seems to be happening right now. And uh, it's it's frustrating, man. The thing that trips me out is how quickly everybody, like they just whipped an entire population. I can't speak about other countries, but I'll say what I've seen in the United States. From day one, the social distancing, the mass, the, the the paranoia. From when it first started, I saw it out in the middle of nowhere, Wyoming, through all the other states, back to Boston, it's still standing. Like people are still holding on to this, even though when you look around, everything's normal. I still don't know anybody. I, like I said before you jumped in, four people have emailed me since this entire Odyssey began. Four people. You know how many emails I get every day? Four have said, I have a family member that was diagnosed with COVID, mm-hmm. but they died because of cancer, leukemia, Lou Gehrig's. No one actually died of COVID, but I mean, four out of how many millions of views I've gotten since this whole thing jumped off. You know, it's insane, dude. Look around. Everything is totally normal. Well, not now. Totally. Because everything's on fire. But exactly. Uh, but but with everything on with everything on fire and with all of this new hysteria, COVID has seemed to just disappear and vanished. There's no new deaths, no new cases. No one's getting sick. It's just, it's taking a break. But at the same time, we are gathering in numbers that we haven't gathered in, and I don't know when, right? So we have this increase in, in uh, proximity, right? Everyone's closer together in these massive groups during a time of an an alleged pandemic yet there's no body dropping dead no one's getting sick so that's interesting then this is crazy i gotta send you this uh, i'll email you this this article who just came out world health organization just came out and now they said you know what i think we got things a little wrong we have a new study that says you don't have to wear a mask unless you are working with <clears throat> working with or in the presence of or living with or dealing with somebody who is infected, someone who is sick. So if you're not actually handling or helping someone who is sick, there's no reason for you to wear a mask. Can you believe that? <laughs> it's unreal because masks have already made the leap over to the fashion world. Yes. And I mean that they did that happened like day three but i mean it's it's still people are talking about it. it's no big deal you know I'm, I'm watching my instagram account is a lot like my other youtube channel jailbreak overlander on instagram a few people know who i actually am but believe it or not being known as richie from boston isn't helpful it's all oh, that all oh, that dude yeah he thinks this that and the other thing you know whatever mm-hmm. He goes and talks to people that show him proof that everything we've been told is a lie. And he can basically prove it with the information that his people like Days of Noah and James Corbett, you know, just everybody comes on. But they don't like hearing that. At any rate, on Instagram, I follow a lot of military dudes, a lot of dudes that are into, you know, weapons, etc. Every one of them to this day are still helping push the COVID lie. It's a lie. It's a lie, dude. It's a, you know, it ain't a pandemic. I'll tell you that. Whatever it is, it ain't what they told us it was whatsoever at all. Not even a little. And they planned it out. And we can basically prove it, man. Or, or we could just say this. If people don't want to believe that it's a lie, they still can't believe that, or they still can't prove that it's a fact. (laughs) You know, you don't have to believe anything we're saying about it. 
but you still can't prove that it's a fact. You can't prove that it's real. I can yeah. prove it. I can prove that the powers that be that told everybody to drop your lives, drop the dollar, drop the economy, drop everything have been lying about the amount of people completely because their own paperwork in the mainstream keeps. Oh, well, you know, it turns out that 87% of the people we said died. 87% is not a negligible. It's an enormous, it's almost a hundred percent. This keeps happening country after country after country, including our own. Hey, days. Do you know anything about Trump's uh, uncle? I, I know, I know he had something to do with, um, I can't think of it off the top of my head because I don't have a memory recall system built in like that. I know he screwed over Tesla at some point. You know anything about him? I, you know, I've, I've around the way I've heard something about that, but yeah, I don't, I don't have. Yeah, I can't, sorry, does it matter? I tried, man. I can't. Yeah, I know what you're saying. I just can't think. I, Trump's one of them, dude. He's. I just got a funny feeling. He's not brilliant. He's not conniving. He's just a WWE wrestler who can go like this. Who's not, who's really crass? He doesn't care what his hair looks like. He makes a lot of money. If he loses it, he's got good friends that'll uh, put it this way. I'm a billionaire. I'm seventy. My wife used to be really hot. Why in the world would I ever want to be pre? Well, for the power, the power, the juice ain't worth the squeeze. Because when you become president, everybody, including Richie from Boston, points out that your face is orange, your hair. Is creepy. You look like a cookie jar. You know, like it's not worth the power to be ridiculed constantly. And he is. He's there because they said, we'll make you a billionaire again. But one of these days, dude, we're going to need you. And it's going to be a big one. Well, the downfall of America, that would be a big one. What president wants his legacy to be? I'm the only president to ever declare the end. While I was president, the entire country was a disaster area. And I had to call in the military. That's not cool. Unless of course, it's the plan, and it is, and then we then we could just we could also look at just how politics are structured. We could look at think tanks. We could look at uh, non governmental organizations. We could look at geopolitics, and alone, when we do that, we can see that there is a huge operation going on. Are we really going to think that one man? A single man <laughs> could take over and, and overthrow this hundreds of years organized uh, program operation that that we're witnessing now. Do we think one man has what it takes? And, and of all of and of all men, Donald Trump, right? Do you think we he has what it takes <laughs> to overthrow centuries worth of development? into a global order it just doesn't make much sense they did like you just said the club of rome the bilderbergs you know the the, the never-ending litany of secret organizations of elite people meeting to figure out what our future is going to be they did some sort of testing over and over and over and over and over and they drew the conclusion donald trump would be the best person for this particular job or this particular moment Nothing more, nothing less. He can't even tell. He can't even do a a news event that is basically historical without, like I said, it looks like he's just up there rolling on ecstasy. Like, yeah, you guys, this is going to be having the military on the street in every state in the union is going to be phenomenal. It's going to bring back that beautiful rule of law. Beautiful rule of law. You got to listen to it. I don't know how to put I like StreamYard, which is what we're on right now. Yeah. But I don't know how to play audio from a video. And speaking of that, that video you put up with the kid from Unicorn Riot, Pain, dude, oh, that yeah. was bomb. That video is phenomenal. Thank you, man. Thank phenomenal. you. Phenomenal. I, I listened to that intro like six times. It's yeah. Phenomenal. It was, it, I put a lot into that one. Yeah. I totally uh, produced that whole thing. It was, uh, it was, it was an interesting time, but I'm glad you liked it, man. Oh, yeah, it's just, a lot it's of work just, into it. No, I could tell. I could tell. That was great, great stuff right there. Yeah, the last president. We told, I've been telling you that for three years because they told us that on the cover of The Economist magazine. Donald Trump sitting on the American flag, rolled up under his butt like a toilet, sitting on top of the world, holding a scepter. That tells me, King Trump, no more presidency, no more elections, last president we'll ever have. And uh, looks like they're rolling it out.
Yeah, because yeah. people were saying that about Obama being the last president. Well, I kind of well, thought that was the case too, but yeah. But here's the word. Here's the word. Last president of the United States is Trump, but then a lot of dudes are making a lot of really good arguments that Obama's not done yet. He's coming yeah. back. He's coming yeah. back around like herpes, man. Yes, I, I'm. I'm feeling you on that. That does <laughs> say it. It, it, he's really creeping his way back in, and you do, you do know he has quite a stake in Netflix. He is Netflix, basically. Oh well, plus, I mean, imagine with a race riot, even though it's completely conjured up by the powers that be. But I mean, people should be used to that by now. Donald Trump, the biggest, dumbest, orange, I guess, Caucasian we have. And then Obama swoops back in. That's going to, that, on the narrative tip, that's going to work out perfectly. Oh, yeah. It's, just, Obama it's straight out of a script, man. Straight out of a film. Straight out of a film. So, yeah, we're in some crazy times, man. Crazy but, times. I couldn't believe that. I, hey, let's have a live stream. And then I sit down and I start setting it up. And I'm like, what? Donald Trump, when did this happen? They're like, dude, it's happening now. And I'm like, no. I was getting ready to roll out in the morning. I was going to blow off this live stream, dude. It looks like I don't even know if I'll be able to. Every time I say I'm going to leave, something crazy happens, but it seems to be getting crazier and crazier. And you see all these people. They're all young. They're they, all kids, man. Kids. And then you got the dude creeping through with the professional, you know, I'm a professional protester with the shield and the masks and all that. Well, And that umbrella guy, that was interesting. You know, I got to send you, I got to send you a, uh, I got to send you this link. I have a video. I, I sourced this off of Twitter. So did you see, you saw the original one when the guy with the umbrella was breaking those windows, right? Yes. And there was a, a black guy, guy with, with a pink shirt on, kind of like- uh, Carrying a pizza box. Carrying a pizza box, right? Yeah. Like It seemed like he was like, who are you? You know, what are you doing here? And then and 10 they, minutes later, they're walking down the street, kicking it together. Oh, so you saw that one. Okay. okay. It, yeah. Well, chances are, if, if, if it's a military, and this is from- this is, I can speak on this. If the dude dressed in black with the umbrella, with the hammer, all ready to go with the 3M professional series, $112 gas mask on, is walking around breaking windows, having a spotter, which would be an African-American holding a random pizza box, which probably had a radio in it. He's keeping an eye on it, or his job is to call him out in case somebody else does. He'll do it first and louder. You know what I mean? Uh, Just like, remember when Don, when, I don't know if you're old enough. You might be. Mike Tyson used to come down to the ring and his boy Crocodile would yell in the background all the time. Mm. Like a hype man. Like a hype, like a hype man. Yeah, 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 yeah. When I saw that, I'm like, that's a that's a military team right there. Period. That's a sniper yeah. and a spotter. Straight yeah. up and down. And the contrast was perfect, you know, because they're going for that. No one would ever think they're working together, you know? And this guy got his like fluorescent pink shirt on. He's carrying a pizza box. It's just it's just just like a a script or something you know it's like someone designed their wardrobe and stuff it's just and then i saw the video of them walking together laughing and talking and i was just like oh wow this is creepy man it this is, is creepy. creepy. It's, that's why i haven't been putting out videos at breakneck speed because things are happening too fast you're too gonna fast. Out, you're gonna step on your own dick way too quick man yep. way too yep. quick so yeah it's true it's true i've been trying to just focus on more of the more of the macro things, you know, like oh, the no, you're, on it. you're on it. In my opinion, you're on it, man. Trying to get a perspective of how people are thinking. But as far as the direction we're going and the specifics and details of what's going to happen next, yeah, I'm staying completely away from that because too much is happening too too fast. They have too again, too many moving parts. You know, they have all of these these different aspects of the psyop. So here's the here, <sighs> here's the deal, and I hate to say this, but they're doing this. Every move they're make, every move they're making, to me, to be perfectly honest, I thought when this first broke, it was going to happen quicker because I thought, Amer I mean, as soon as I found out that diseases don't spread the way, like as soon as I found out the real medical shit about this COVID, I was like, Americans going to freak out. They're, they're going to be like, well, you, you what? I ain't gone to work in a month. My job is gone. Everybody's unemployed. The dollar is junk. Nothing happened. Yeah. People were like, hey, I'm going to chill at home at Netflix. Trump's going to send me a, a, you know, hey, five of us are going to get a special golden stimulus check. It was like a, it was like watching 
a television show except yes. it was news, man. Yes. It, also, it, there was a they're not going to stop. They they got it right now, and people ain't going to see this until it is way past too late. Too because late. people yeah. that we need to see this are buying the bullshit. They're buying Trump's storyline or too many. Well, that's what they get. You shouldn't screw with the police. You won't get stomped on and this and that. And it's like, yeah, man, you guys ain't. <sighs> and then the whole thing about Gates, you know, people are kind of waking up to the whole Gates thing and the anti-vax movement was really building, man. It, there was some progress, say maybe a month ago. And maybe that's why we're seeing this right now. Yeah, And boom, boom. That's how they do us. Every t Nobody saw 9-11 coming. Everybody talks shit. Oh, dude, come on. It was in The Simpsons. Yeah, yeah. All of us figured that out, like, I don't know, 10 years after the fact. But I'll tell you what, September 11th, I was driving my wife to work, man. Everything was fine. It was no big deal. Howard Stern said a plane hit. And there it was a little plane. It was this. And then all of a sudden, another plane hit. And then the Pentagon. You never see it coming. These guys yeah. are good, man, because they own everything. Yeah, so now no one's thinking about vaccines. No one's worrying about Gates. Imagine right. all the stuff that they're doing under our nose right now. Imagine all the stuff they're doing right now. They have all the time in the world right now because everyone is so distracted by this whole Floyd situation. Yep, big time, big time, big time. So, and don't, I mean, it's amazing because if I was the president and if I was legit and I gave one shit, I'd be up there saying, listen, we screwed up. The cops completely dropped the ball. None of this should have ever happened. This is basically on law enforcement, and it's basically on the mainstream that all my friends own, just to be honest with you. All my friends own the news, and they sensationalize every time somebody gets done wrong. Trump should have said the cops didn't do their jobs. Somebody told all of them to stand down, allow the damage to happen, make the cops look like they can't do their jobs, so we have to send in the military. And he should have said, I'm breaking all sorts of constitutional laws, Bill of Rights laws, but I have to do this to save the country. He didn't say it like that at all. He didn't say, it's going to be one big, beautiful law back again. And it, it's just insane. Dude. I don't it's even rhetoric. know. It's all rhetoric. Everything he says, it's just, it's, it's just all rhetoric, man. I don't know. It's, <laughs> I don't know how people really believe in the guy still. It, just, it blows me away. The guy's know. an actor. He's one of us. He is a billionaire. How in the world? I, I never understood this ever. The day before he became president, everyone's like, I've used secret codes. I've used Gematria. Hillary is going to win. I made a video. It's still up. I said, Hillary's not going to win because they want chaos. They want people running down the streets dressed up as pink vaginas, smashing windows and breaking stuff. So they're going to let Trump win. Plus... <laughs> Nobody likes Hillary. Next day, that's exactly what happened. I mean, not all their moves are that hard to see, but... Yeah, it's a perfect storm. It's exactly what they need to bring everything down. It's We're in such strange waters, man. But I know, I know. All the stuff we've done over the years, all, all the knowledge, all the research, and it's still, it's still amazing. You know, it's, it's still... It's just still hard to fathom that all of this is just being rolled out so successfully. It's like we don't want to be right. <laughs> I don't want to be right about this stuff. But it's, it's I'm on pass. a high horse, apparently. There's no there's no T in Richard. I'm not sure. I don't know how to explain that. Actually, my name is written right on the, the channel itself, but I don't have a horse. I don't like riding horses, and I'm not sure how mentioning that. Some of their moves are pretty easy to see, and sometimes we actually document them as being on a high horse. But at any rate, uh, dude, days I don't see how to, I don't see how to unring this bell because people are still, even when you're telling them like the president just told all that, like what I'm saying is historical, and it, if it's not a starting gun in your head, I don't know what else to tell you. The president just told, he basically dared every governor in the United States, either you put troops on the ground or I'll do it. That's a bad day because this isn't a nationwide epidemic, but it's going to, it's going to be, it just gave them every cause in the world to lock down the country to make COVID look like, well, what it was absolutely nothing. 
this bums me out, man. Yeah, it does. It does because we're playing right into their hands. And uh, I don't think there's anything that's going to change it. And, and, and I would say this is supposed to happen, right? This is, it's been written, right? It's just, it's been, it's been written. It just doesn't seem real. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Real. Yeah, Trump said there was a storm coming. Yep, yep, yep. He absolutely did. He absolutely did. The thing is, is they've got us to, they've got us to, I mean, the left right paradigm, sports teams, racial. I mean, this is all according to the mainstream, but they've got people that you cannot tell them anything without them arguing it. The president just dared governors, either you put troops or I will. So the quid quo pro is there will be troops, whether it's by the governor or the president. For us, that sucks. Having the military on the ground, it's gonna we're gonna see what it feels like to get democracy spread all over us. It ain't cool. Uh, I mean, if they they could go with this, right? And, and literally transfer this to the the whole COVID thing. So they could say, now we have excuses to be in your neighborhoods and to come to your homes. But since we've gotten this far, now we have the structure built to where we now could implement vaccines. So oh, no. you're on it. You, you, you're on it because before you even said it, that's what I was thinking. It's like they're double dipping. Well, fortunately, we got all that rioting under control. I mean, it took a few months because of all the skirmishes with the National Guard, et cetera, from those, you know, domestic terrorists. But fortunately, it's it's all worked out just in time to uh, toss ID 2020 down your jugular vein or whatever, whether you like yeah. it or not. That's kind of what I'm seeing. With oh, them. you're on it. You're on it. I, I, I really hope, I hope I'm wrong. Yeah. I definitely don't want to go. be right, but it just seems too easy. It just seems too easy for them to, to do this. <clears throat> crazy, crazy, crazy. What? Um, are you East Coast, West Coast, or Middle America? West Coast. Are you? What's What's it like where you're at? Crazy. I mean, oh, is it really? Absolutely nuts. Uh, Eight o'clock. Um, curfews yeah california is especially the bay area la they're burning crap man they're breaking into everything uh they're just it, it is actual terrorism in, in the big cities definitely uh up no, even up north you know in the major cities i know in portland there's a lot of crazy stuff going on um los angeles is a hellhole uh oakland we had we had a guy shot the other day uh, a guard in front of one of the buildings downtown they, they killed the man so uh yeah man it's it's getting nasty in certain areas and uh i don't see any end to this unless there is some type of national guard mood because move because these these are their kids man these kids and they're crazy they have nothing to live for they're angry you know they're totally deceived so it's it's like dealing with the demonic spirits, man. This is what this is kind of like what it is. And it's, no, it's you're, bad to see. you're right. You're right because it's funny. Because I'm watching the kids walking around, and it amazes me how kids are walking around with their masks on, their social distance. Like they're they're down with it. These are the new rules. Here you go. You never heard of them in your life, but here they are. Run with it, and they're good with it. When I was a kid, we wouldn't. We, we're not listening to rules, etc. But I can see I'm watching I'm watching the people protesting and I'm seeing people they are just kids man hopefully the the, the thing that scares me is I mean if, if it is as bad as you say and the military does have to step in I mean I don't the the, the law enforcement there is 1.5 million plus people employed as law enforcement in the United States under all the various litany of alphabet agencies they could just do that without having to bring the military and yeah, yeah. It, bringing the military in should slow that down and then it'll be okay let's wrap this up let's get back to normal but they're not going to they're going to use the same umbrella guys breaking windows taking shots at the soldiers now the soldiers are in defense mode and it makes why we had to go to iraq for 14 years going door to door to door to door do you know what i mean i always yeah suspect of that now it all makes sense because that's why trump remember when the COVID thing broke out i want to re-enlist every per the last million people that just got out of the military 
I want them back in. That's still real. That still happened. That's still real. They're still on the hook with the government. You don't want a million dudes that just came home from Afghanistan and Iraq coming to the streets of America looking oh, for quote unquote domestic terrorist or let's just call them insurgents to save time. It's all coming home to roost, man. It is. They gotta, that's they gotta do a big cleaning, brother. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I was like, look, you guys are angry with the cops. Just wait till they bring National Guard in. They're not gonna be as friendly. <laughs> think we, you think the cops are bad, man. And I'm not I'm not trying to I'm not trying to say anything bad about the military, but they're no joke, man. You they're know no what I'm saying? Joke. They're no joke. The the whole thing about the military, being a cop, you can be a cop and still be a person. Being in the military, in order to advance forward, you have to listen, repeat, and don't question anything. Don't question anything. All it takes is for one National Guard troop to take incoming fire from whomever. And now, instead of being there like, this sucks, I can't believe we're on the streets of America, too. Damn, these people are shooting at us. Now it's on. It's all it takes is one shot. And where do you think that shot's going to come from? The various grassy knolls distributed all over the united states i can see this coming i guess uh, it's too easy and i think my frustration is what do we do i know get ready seven months ago you know yeah. what i mean yeah that's the hardest part what do we do now it's like we're, we're screwed we're kind of stuck they got us over a barrel bad dude yeah people are standing in line outside home depot that doesn't even make any sense in the world but they're doing it and then let's not forget that food is still a problem. Food is still a thing. People are getting sick. Meat. Everything on the Agenda 21 punch list is also lining up perfectly with the COVID-19 punch list. It is. And till this whole thing popped off, I didn't even realize that Bill Gates was behind so many parts of the Agenda 21. Mm -hmm. He's even in the, in the fake meat department. That's disgusting. Yep. It's, it's, it's just amazing. And that's a whole other thing that's coming down the pike is the food situation, food shortages that are, that are on the way, especially in the major metropolitan areas, the major cities that rely on supermarkets and, you know, um, like these, these like mass markets, you know, these huge commercial grocers, uh, those areas are going to be in trouble for sure. The more rural areas won't, won't probably see as much. Uh, and this is just an idea, but I, I definitely see the shortages coming. Uh, it's a, just an easy way to to take over a population. And no, it's no, already without, been in the works. No, without a doubt. without a, this, I've had so many videos that I started and then stopped because something else kept popping up. Because something else kept popping up. Because mm -hmm. 2020 has been nonstop and relentless. I had dairy farmers cowboys like dudes that run cattle ranches saying dude they're making us kill 1.5 million pieces of or whatever you call it cows head of cattle they're making us dump out 250,000 gallons of milk like why why are, there, are the people are there not people all oh, the restaurants are closed yeah but there's still people eating you, you see what i'm like yeah and it then, makes no sense it, does, I, am I saying that wrong? No, you're 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 correct. It makes no sense. It, it's clear that they don't really have the people's interests and 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 uh, I'd say uh, livelihood in mind. You know, they're they're not addressing this in any honest way. It's it's clear that they're allowing everything to kind of fall apart. It's like they're feigning incompetence. Right. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? It's just, oh, it's so frustrating because those with the eyes to see and ears to hear, you could see this. It's like you guys are just letting this crumble. They're allowing, did you see? Yeah, you showed the videos of they're dropping off pallets of bricks in certain cities. Dude, I mean, I it's mean, insane. I, and I grew up in Lynn. Lynn. Lynn is a very, very mixed community, always was since I was a kid. The dude's like, Come on, man. You guys got to do better than this. We're in the middle of a riot in a city with no building going on. And here's a magical pallet of bricks. Come on, dude. It's like it's like playing a Grand Theft Auto in real life or in yeah. 5G. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, 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 it's probably We're probably in 5G right now and don't even know it, man. Mm -hmm. Who That's knows? Kind of, yeah. 
that's kind of what I was thinking. It's like a big video game. And you see a lot of the kids doing all of this. They're at that age where that's what they do. Right. Well, they that's play it, video games all day. Dude, it makes per I mean, you're you're 40, so you you know, you've been around a few decades. Making people, dude. I am a veteran. My dad's a veteran. My grandfather's a veteran. I got pictures all over the house. Everyone's, I'm, I was always down for the military if we had to. If we yeah. had never been like, yeah, let's go kill people. Like, no, man. It's always been, if I kill this dude, and it, what's God going to say? Like, I, it's always been there. It's always been there. Mm -hmm. These guys made going to war a sport. It took them a long time, but Vietnam helped bring that in. I was born at Fort Belvoir, Virginia. Hey, here's your kid. Great. There's your plane. Go to Nam. Come home two years later. That's my story. They got people from, we ain't going to war. These people ain't threatening us to going to war, cheering like it's a sports team. And then the introduction of military training games as video games. We're killing the most brutal way in a video game. What, what's wrong with these kids these days? Look at what they're playing. Look at what they're playing. Look at what they're watching. Look at what they're cheering for. Yes. So now watch these kids rioting, man. It's like they're in a video game. You know yeah. what I mean? It's, 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 I don't even know. That's exactly what I'm saying with you, but I don't know if I explained it correctly. I you did. Know. You did. And that's, that's what this is. That's why these kids, it's so easy for them. It's almost natural. You see how arrogant and just cavalier they are about this? They have, they're fearless. I've never seen, kids act so rebellious i mean these they're going on the white house grounds like did you see those videos i mean are I those real? Not, I, to be perfectly honest i didn't i didn't watch the only thing i just watched mainstream the the beauty of having a couple of channels with a, with a lot of subscribers is the important stuff gets sent to me that's how i roll yeah, yeah. i actually just had to watch trump addressing the nation and it's like this is bad. This the, is excuse, bad. the excuse is like, oh, they're fed up. The kids are fed up. Fed up for what? You know what I mean? No, no, that 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 30 minute soliloquy that you started out with unicorn riot pain. I listened to that four times because I'm like, this you just nailed it. You're like, you don't understand. You're like, we have so much built up pain. You guys don't even understand it, man. Yes. You don't even understand it. It's genetically modified, fluoride, medicated, bored. I'm transgender. I'm having sex with my brother's next door neighbor's roommates because I'm attracted to a telephone pole. <laughs> it's just a great, big, mainstream media, nonstop. Thumbs up. What's the drug? What's the drug in your brain? Dopamine. Dopamine fest. No one even knows which way anything's going anymore, man. Yep. You know what That's I'm saying? It. The kids are chasing cop cars on fire down the street with cell phones so they can get the best YouTube video. Boom. Right there. We're in a crazy place, but your video nailed it. You said it way better than I just did. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. It's a mess. And that's why it's hard for me. It's like I... I feel I feel for the kids because I know they're lost, struggling. But at the same time, we there, someone has to be rational. Someone has to be rational here. And when you start to really think about things, this whole situation is it's just berserk, you know. It's absolute madness. And uh, we we're falling to the side of let's support the kids, you know, let 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 the children lead the way, you know, the whole Crow Crowley or Crowley's um, curious and conquering child situation, yeah. you know, Good where the Good child call. child is king, you know, we're going to follow the child and it's chaos, man. It's going to lead to the end. And that's exactly what we're seeing right now. And when you see the MSM supporting this, when you see, you know, so Poor dude. Yes. Celebrities are paying or like Big bailing time. people out and stuff. Pushing this. The yes. minute this thing popped off the mainstream instant. I only go to Drudge and I still complain about it because Drudge used to be legit, but not anymore. Watching them push it, you think you think you can't go, you don't even leave the door because the everything's on fire. It just started. You know what I mean? The mainstream causes this stuff. We shouldn't be surprised, but 
it just bums me out so many people buy into it. Yeah, I think that's what it is. We should, we're not surprised at all, but it's amazing how many people fall for it. Because a lot of it's kind of obvious, man. It is <laughs> a obvious. lot of this stuff is pretty easy to see, man. It's like, come on. I mean, it, it worked. It worked. They wanted this whole COVID thing was to get the military on the ground. Militaries are coming to the ground. And the cops are not being charged for Floyd. I wouldn't be surprised if that. We've seen that. That's a that's a trick they they fall back on quite often. They'll beat the stuffing out of somebody for twenty minutes on tape, and then go to ch- go to church, go to court, and get found not guilty. Oh, that's the next stage. That's they the look, next stage. They're, they're going to they, get off, and then we're going to see a whole new wave of of riots, and they're going to be a lot more aggressive because people are going to be double pissed. Double. AWS, at least you spelled Richie right. So, but you know what's kind of weird? I'm not on your channel leaving a comment saying that you're an idiot. It's you see, that kind of backfires on you there, homie. At any rate. Um, so I, I what what <laughs> what could we possibly offer here? I'm gonna hit my knees and pray for discernment that I am not deceived at all, because there's gonna be much, much, much more deception coming. At the end of the day, that's all that that really matters, and that's all that we really can do as individuals and pray for others, you know? That's it. That's it. And I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. When these people come to make you take what you – they're going to – it appeared, and I'm sure they're still going to stick with it. The narrative's getting a little muddy or it's just going to the next level right now. It appeared they were just going to do a war of attrition. You can't go to work. You can't do anything you were doing – back in January, until you get a vaccine. So you can get it or not. Your call. If you get it, all will be well. We'll still be contact tracing you because that'll be in your blood for you. That's art- That's automatic. Or you can not get it. You can't go out. You can't go shopping. You can't do this. So that's got to, I mean, you can't buy or sell without it. So that has a good ring to it. But I don't know which way they're going with it right now. I don't know. Yeah. They're already saying that the vaccine is going to pretty much be useless. They're already saying, well, we don't know enough about the disease. And we also don't know enough about the immunity, the, uh, if, if people can even become immune to the disease. So really what they're saying is they're trying to prepare you for whatever they say. They're, they're trying to prepare you for a situation where you'll never really know what's going on, but you just have to you know, listen to what they tell you. Yeah, this might not work. And we might have to give you a new one every six months just to keep up with the mutations. But hey, you have no options. That's pretty much what they're preparing us for. And the strange thing is I've lived 52 or I don't even know how old I am. How effed up is that? You said, right? <laughs> I don't know. You know what's crazy? 52 years I've lived and there's never actually been a real legitimate pandemic. There's been a couple of shots at it, but people need to understand what I'm showing you right now. This is a real thing. They try to cover this up as hard as they can, but medical, the third largest reason people die is because of doctors. And that's not just them leaving a pair of forceps in you after they sew you up and stuff like that. They kill people a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So everything that they say, it amazes me that so many people bought it hook, line, and sinker. I didn't buy it at all. And then it seems like, I mean, the only reason I can see all these doctors coming out now, unless they're getting ready to go a whole nother direction in it because too many of us caught it or caught enough of it, Maybe they're getting ready to go in another direction, or maybe enough mainstream doctors finally came out and said, this is insane. This doesn't make sense because I got a list of 500 doctors, regular old doctors, sending Trump paperwork, hoping that that would work, like a petition or whatever, saying, "Um, Mr. President, this is all bullshit. This is all complete, utter bullshit. Maybe there was enough of it, and now they're going to go in another direction. And riots always work. Oh yeah, it's pretty turn it's turned everything around, right? It's we're on a whole new platform with this now. It's it's like corona never existed if you think about it. No yeah. one's talking about it. No one's mentioning it. People are still wearing masks, of course, cuz it's been kind of conditioned into us. But Quickly. it's it's like what's next? <laughs> you know what in the hell is next, man? And that's why we do this. That's why it's good that we have these platforms and we have this community because imagine without People like you and many other truthers coming together or making videos and attempting to address this. No one, no one knows everything. No one is 
you know, a psychic. It's the fact that we come together or as individuals make videos that address the issues and try to give ideas, try to connect things together, possibly give some guidance, give some assistance, some vision to what's going on here. Because the general population is just going with the flow and following each each uh, whim of this this thing. So it's nice to have an area where we could get together and form some conversations and, and lay some things out and, and possibly, you know, figure out where this thing is going. And that's all we can do, man. And I think uh, you're doing a great job. A lot of others are doing good work and we just got to continue to do this because I think this is important. There, we're a small community, man, when you look at YouTube or when you look at the internet in general. And I think the work that we're doing, just bringing ideas to the table, questioning things, addressing this in a way that is, in a sense, dissident, I think that's needed. That's required because without that, everyone is just going to fall in line, man. I agree, man. This, th these are these are the headlines from right this minute, and this is not what you want to be seeing. That's insane. Fortress White House. He did just do that. He called the governor's weeks fools and the military's deployed. All okay. like that. And meanwhile, where I'm at and where I've been, I mean, the last couple of hundred miles I've done, I've seen nothing. I've seen nothing at all. But apparently the military is rolling again. Not that they weren't, but and in, in, I don't know. I don't know what your entire sphere of beliefs or research is, but. I know they're going to use the weather. Someone just said now is a good time to bring in the tsunamis or they've been, I mean, dude, it's June 1st in the Northeast and it was 50 degrees when I woke up. That is not normal. The trees are not blooming properly whatsoever at all. And I have actual video proof of two 5G transponders. Literally, you can straight up read them that they just installed and the trees that are directly in front of it in the year that those have been up are all dead. I mean, completely, completely 100. I, I, these, these were beach plum trees. They're very rare. They take forever to grow. I pick the plums off them whenever they're ready every year. You know, I kind of look forward to it. They're totally straight up dead. So 5G kills living things. And we're very closely related to trees. So there's that 5G in weather warfare. I yeah, believe. the weather the weather's been crazy. Well, the the places that haven't been affected with rioting might as well give them a hurricane, a tornado, or you know yeah. stuff like that because they do have an app for that. You know, they've been talking about weather warfare for decades, man. You know, for as long as very, very long time. Time. Yeah, so I, I know that it, it exists, and it only and isn't it interesting how weather just started to act really funny and strange when all of these psyops started coming about say exactly. post, post obama exactly uh, yeah so it's very clear that something's going on here and i don't have enough education or research in it to really be super concrete on anything but i definitely do believe that there is weather warfare there is weather modification um, i mean it was like hailing somewhere the other day and the day before that, it was like in the hundreds or, or high 90s or something. It's just, this is nuts. This is not natural, you know. Uh, and then the chemtrails, they're spraying like crazy everywhere. Everywhere is hazy. What's the point of all of this? Seriously, what is the point of all of this? Well, the fact that no one could get any real information about it. It's clear something is going on. So, yeah, it, they very well will pull some some weather stuff. And they already are. It, I think they're going to really give us some serious hardcore heat this summer, and they're going to shut off the uh, electricity. I, I could see that coming. Well, speaking of that, I live on an island, so most of the wiring is underground. So we very, very, very rarely lose power. I'm talking every couple of years, maybe a oh, month wow. of storm. We lost power twice in three days the other day, totally and utterly unannounced. Just went out and then came back up, and I'm sitting there going, oh, here we go. Interesting. Here we go. Oh, so. check this out. This is something I just found out. This is crazy. So, And this is something you were mentioning uh, earlier, and you've been talking about this for a while, the cutting off of internet. So I've heard, I can't remember where, it might have been Minneapolis, I have to look look into this. I can't remember the exact location, but they are already threatening to cut off internet and cut off social media um, usage because of the spread of, I guess, uh, 
people are spreading information, hate, hate stuff or hate. information that's causing more riots, like riot stuff. I, I can't remember what it was, but they're already threatening well, to turn off the internet. That's what we do. That's what we do in any other country right off the bat. Military's here, shut down. Shut down their eyes, shut down their ears. Everything yeah. they hear and see will come directly from us. They're, That's I, it. It will come home to roost. That's it. Shut down their eyes and ears. That's exactly it. And that, I think, is going to come. And I'm telling you, man, it's really going to get nasty when they do that. Because the generations, the younger generations today, live and breathe online um, um, Wi-Fi, right? Their, their, their veins pulsate Wi-Fi right this is this is how they survive you cut that off you're gonna see a, a monster i can't even imagine I'm, like we were talking about the thumbs up the dopamine releases those are real real true things that's a real the, the, the colors the frequencies the you know the 4k resolution high resolution it releases dopamine almost as close to heroin as they possibly can take that away you're going to have some seriously sick kids that are going to be freaking out freaking kids, out it's meaning people up to 50 years old you know yeah. what i mean yes that's what i mean <laughs> exactly uh and that that's that and electricity and food shortages those are the things I think we probably should be preparing for, or at least uh, expecting to a degree, and, and maybe not uniformly across the United States, but definitely in the major areas where the, the highly populated areas, for sure. Uh, I think they they definitely will pull these. It's it's just too easy. It's it's there for them. No, it's it's par for the course, man. Yeah, I, I said that months ago expecting everything to move forward quicker but it looks like we're here all over again all right days i didn't realize you live stream right before this we just did an hour and a half easy so i'm gonna let you go no worries man thanks for having me um his link is pinned in the comment section and i'm gonna leave you a link to uh for everyone asking what to do i got a lot of bug out videos on jailbreak overlander i'll leave the i'll leave the link below as well and me and days and everyone just think about it man we'll just think about it absolutely i'm gonna be putting some serious uh, thoughts into this we're in we're in crazy waters and it's happening fast right when it seems like it's just all right this whole covid thing's wearing off whatever yeah right you know, i guess i'm gonna eat a little crow here i thought they were gonna roll in the military what an asshole whatever i overreacted and then boom <laughs> it's like are you kidding me here we go People getting shot with rubber bullets on their on their doorstep. <laughs> right, I do that would oh that it would I'd be yeah. Already, this is already happening in the snap of the fingers. Indeed, indeed, indeed. People are getting right, lit up. <laughs> Richie from Boston, Days of Noah. Links will be pinned in the comments. Um, RJCJR10 at yahoo.com. If you want to hit me up, let me know what's going on in your area. And uh, just pray, pray, hit your knees, pray, and don't take the vaccine. That will be the absolute end game, in my opinion. Other than that, I'm not sure exactly what to say. Maybe that'll change tomorrow. It ain't over. It ain't over. We're still here. All right, brother. All right, guys. All right, guys.